we here at Cisco Kids would like to welcome you to today's CCNA study topic where we'll be covering how to change the host name on your Cisco router. So first thing we want to take a look at is the command syntax which we'll encounter. You're going to start off when you log into the router you'll be at the exec mode and what you're going to want to do is type in enable to get into the privileged exec mode. Once you'll do that by typing config t. Once you're in there, we'll drop down to the third line here, and you'll see the host name is router. We're in configuration mode, which is config and prints. And next thing we want to do is type out the command host name space, and then the name uh, that we want to change the router to. And this could be up to 25 characters. Something you do want to be aware of is host name must be one word. If you break it up into two words, it will throw back an error. And we'll see that in a moment. But if you look down at the fourth line there, once we enter the command, you'll notice how the name of the router changes to Cisco Kits. So let's bounce on over to a hyperterminal session. We'll hit enter to get in we'll get into our privileged executive mode by typing in enable and notice the name of our router is router so what we want to do is first go into config mode once we're in config T mode we're going to go host name and notice how I have a space between the two let's see what happens okay it throws back an error it's telling us that we have invalid input um, actually what it was looking at was host command and then it sees a s the name Cisco kits there so it, it gets really confused there so actually let's back up a little bit more and we'll go host name and let's try Cisco kits as two words and see what happens again it gives us invalid input detected at the marker and again it's, it's just looking for a single contiguous host name up to 25 characters so let's try it again host name space Cisco kits enter voila notice how the routers host name changed from router to Cisco kits and then we're back at the config mode. So, we hope you found this video to be of use and it'll help you prepare for your Cisco CCNA certification. We're sure you'll quickly find that hands on, real world experience is the best way to cement the CCNA concepts and help you pass your CCNA exam. For more information on how you could obtain affordable CCNA, or CCMP study kits, as well to find more of these valuable CCNA study topics, please visit us at www.ciscokits.com. The study topics can be found under the CCNA menu, CCNA study topics.